Hey everybody, this is a weather share, really quick. Um, wow, there you go, sunshine for a brief moment, but the winds are coming in. Now, um, this is what I'd like to say. I was in a storm about the same time, and I lived on the coast of Washington State um, in a place that had a Coast Guard, a major Coast Guard station at the tip of that peninsula. And uh, I lost my roof in that storm. We were without power for 30 something days. And if you hear animals, animals are kind of going crazy. Um, because we've just been inundated by rain. I have puddles all in my yard. Uh, you really just can't see them unless you look. But what I was trying to say is don't expect the government to help you. They never let a good crisis go to waste. They may declare this and that, but help never really arrives. It's citizens who took care of us afterwards where the roads were completely blocked off from civilization. No electricity and the, this is a storm of, I believe it was 2006. And the temperatures plummeted after that. It was warm. I'm not wearing a shirt, even though the winds are blowing. It's very, very warm right now here. Unseasonably warm. And um, the clouds are moving in all different directions. So anyway, my point is, you know, it's up to us to keep community together and um, help, help your neighbor out during a situation like this. The government came in the late January, I believe, the army rolled in after the, everyone and the us in the community I lived in in 2006 and the surrounding community came in and helped donated food you name it um, it was the community that did this it was not the government so don't count on the government what you're going to have to do is be prepared get prepared the best you can and if things go really bad you know Communities need to come together, support one another. By the time the, these, these were soldiers, like armed soldiers that came through asking everybody, you know, they went house to house, do you need any help? Was there any deaths? Weird questions. Um, and it was like people shut their door on them. I was really proud of what happened. No one accepted or even wanted help from the government. Uh, by the time they got there, by the, before electricity got turned on, as a matter of fact, the community and some of us had got together and decided where we were going to plant gardens, how food would be. I mean, we, we did not have any outside communication with the outside world. So uh, it was up to us and we did it. I think there was one casualty and that woman lived around Washaway Beach where homes are still falling into the ocean. It's really not a good place to live because nature is taking back that land. Um, so, but I understand homes did fall into the ocean there on Washaway Beach and it is completely taking back. It's reclaiming. It's what things happen. Things rearrange. It's, it's not nothing, you know, that's not a conspiracy of any kind. But, um, you know, help your neighbor and stuff. The winds are going to come in um, in this weather share. They're saying uh, sustained winds from 40 to 50 miles an hour. And I think it'll probably start within the next hour or two. It's getting kind of brisk now. Um, and then gust to 65 plus, whatever that means. So um, everybody hang in there. This is like our third round this week. Everyone take care of your neighbors. Um, and I, I mean, I know the uh, East Coast is getting slammed. I know that some place in the UK is getting slammed. The West Coast of the United States getting slammed. Washington State's getting slammed pretty damn good here. We just got a, a brief momentary lapse of reason from this uh, genetically modified weather is what I call it. Um, look, I don't know if you guys can see which way these white clouds are going. Let me see if I can zoom. Okay, but really those little gray clouds are moving a different way. I don't know how I even show that. The little wispy, probably chemtrails. Um, so you've got some moving one way. And also we're probably caught in the middle of this low or high or whatever it is because I'm pretty confused now on the weather. It's that manufactured. But anyway, we're going to have some really bad winds, I know, so hang in there, everybody. Love and peace to people, and uh, 
listen guys um, I'm, I'm in a rural area we're used to the electricity going out and stuff so if we're not on YouTube um, some people know how to get a hold of me they'll tell you I'm okay uh, if they if they're worried they'll put up a post saying I you know that I'm just without power but anyway it's kind of cool to see a blue sky for a second love all you guys peace hang in there sending blessings throughout the world for peace on this earth and the only thing it takes for peace on this earth turn your power away from those people in unnatural roles called government